Wait, this game has fucking story? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. They definitely put more effort in female models, dude. Hey, yo, they have a lot more options than I realized. Vertical direction, hairline width, hairline size, what? Even body fitness? Negative 195.79. Wait, that's us. I definitely didn't expect there to be any story, by the way. I thought this, this was like a Rust type game or something. Oh, wow. What? Wait, that's in instantaneous fast travel. What the? Oh, I could see people. Wait, could I finally see people? Am I am I out of the tutorial now? I think so. Look, it's people. Holy. Okay. How do I do this? Wait, I could just choose where I want my territory to. I mean, I can't put it in the road, right, boys? We need to find a better place. I preferably want to put my territory around other people too. Maybe the maybe this side of the road this this looks really good it's still in the road somewhat but you know what let's just put it here what do i do next okay more crafting oh there there's the storage okay i need to focus on that first before anything else actually actually can people steal your items you know what i'm just gonna keep the logs and the bricks here for now because i don't Maybe, yeah, we have too many things. Sure teleport record. Wait, we could teleport to our... This, that was, that's a game changer. We need to go get a good spot for our territory then. Because if we could just teleport, we really don't need to care about how close we are to other people. Okay, I think now that they're giving us different options to do in the main quest line, uh, exploring the world might be the best option here. Let's see the world map. Oh my, wait. Oh my god, it's pretty big, uh, honestly. And it extends up to here too. Hopefully it does, because if that's the case, wow. Where are we actually? We are right. Oh, there's, there's side quests? Is this game an MMO or something? What the hell? Teleport we have teleportation marks too. This is an MMO. This guys is a survival game. We need to get that teleportation tower. I'm gonna go there first. Let's explore, boys. Look at this guy. He already has a house built and everything. Is that a player made house? It definitely looks like it because it's in a very weird position. It is a player made house. Oh my god. How are people already building houses? Oh, he, ha, oh, he has a bike. Oh, level for enemies right here. We also have a side quest right there. Let's kill this first. Oh, they're still very easy, actually. Wait, there's a lot of um enemies here. Way more invested than I thought it would be since there's a lot of people around this place. Are we leveling up or... Are there even level ups in this game? Oh, this is the teleport thing, not that thing. Okay. Switch to another world. Does that mean servers? Yeah, I think it, this are servers. Let's switch on another world and see what's happening. It's everything. Wait, I think it's the same thing. But what happens to your plots? Oh, they're gone. You need to put them down again? Is that it? Oh, you can see there. That's where my plot is. Where number three. Okay. There is a cooldown on the teleport. That's... That's good to know. Well, now we're stuck here up in this hill. I've never really played zombie survival games. Uh, I usually watch some YouTube videos about Project Zomboid though. So when I launched this game, I expected it to be a lot more hardcore. But we're having a pretty chill time right here. I think this place looks pretty good for our territory to be in. Maybe we just move here. How, how do we move? Move territory. Oh, look. As easy as that, I guess. Now we live in this mountain. Very close to the teleport tower, I know. But look at the view right here. Is once human a PC only game? It really feels like it could be a crossplay game for mobile. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I could definitely see it being a game that could run on mobile with the graphics turned up way down of course okay so i took like a 15 minute break and now we're already on queue which which is good which means that a lot of people are playing it but at the same time a lot of people are gonna be pretty irritated by this you know what let's just wait for it all right so i've been looking at different resources online to learn more about once human and just learn about what kind of game this actually is is it an mmo or something and i just found out that they do six weeks reset like they wipe your progress every six weeks i don't know how to feel about that if i wanted to play a seasonal game i would have played 
Path of Exile. And I usually don't play that game because of that thing. Some people might like that aspect of the game, while others don't. I'm definitely on the second um, list of people, you know? I mean, I get it if it was like Valorant or like League of Legends. They reset your rank and shit because it is a PvP game or something. But in th this game, you, you put hours, you put tons of hours to make your character better and stuff and all of that just gets wiped after six weeks i really don't know how to feel about that no i'm lying i definitely know how to feel about that i don't like that i mean i have no problems with the gameplay i actually really enjoy the loop right now uh it's very similar to minecraft in a way but in a different like setting because i've only really just played minecraft out of all the survival games so that's the only thing i could compare it to it is pretty fun for like the past hour i was playing okay we're back and we're finally done crafting a pistol and some ammo let's see what we'll go next i think the storyline wanted me to teleport here I'm actually surprised that the story is way better than the first Descendant. I'm actually listening to the dialogue. It's a lot more engaging than I thought. You would think that being a survival game, the story would be ass, but it's actually kind of not. Motorcycle. Wait, motorcycle gameplay? Oh, okay. Oh, we could summon? Okay. Do we need fuel or something? Oh, oh steering. Is, I'm so bad. Oh my God. The controls is so... It's not bad, but it's definitely different than I'm used to. Oh, we could build a car campsite okay we could just put it anywhere wait i don't i don't have materials i'm guessing the campsite is for when we die or something oh it's a respawn point yep the one thing i like about this is that even though my motor is right there i could just i could just summon it everywhere that's cool that's cool one thing i wish we had was a field of view slider because this is way too zoomed in than i'm comfortable with holy fuck. oh my god wait I don't think it's loading correctly. <laughs> Anyways, is that oh, th that's a fucking that's a machine gun? How do I how do I kill this guy? All oh, right, I, I spawn my auto attack thing. Is it loaded correctly? Is is that really it or is that messed up assets? One more shot, rep Ripperino. What is this? Season goals. Oh, it's a battle pass type thing. I think that's gonna be where we're gonna end the first impressions video right here, boys. Honestly, finding out that it's gonna be resetting after six weeks really put a damper in my mood. I was very excited to check out this game because a lot of people are saying that just wait, just wait, stop playing First Descendant. Once Human is gonna be releasing very soon. The gameplay is good. I'm not gonna lie. The story, I'm actually surprised there's a story. But at the same time, I'm just done with resetting things, you know? If the server's gonna reset in six weeks, I just really don't see the point in playing more. Especially when I have little time as is to play video games. But the world is amazing. I really love the survival aspect of the game. I just don't think I have enough time to play the game to get meaningful progression in six weeks. If you guys want to try it out, of course, it's free. So it's definitely an easy barrier for access. The gunplay is nothing special. It's honestly your typical survival game. The most unique aspect about it is the MMO aspects. But again, since it's gonna be resetting i don't know how that's gonna pan out to the wider mmo audience because you know the mmo audience but that's gonna be it for the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe all of this was streamed on my twitch twitch.tv slash sidroff i'm gonna see you guys in the next video comment down below if you want me to play more of this game okay